Good Tuesday morning. I'm Dwayne Nelson. Greenville authorities searching for a bandit that held up a local bank. The Greenville Federal Bank branch on East Andrew Johnson Highway was robbed yesterday morning. Police Chief Terry Cannon told 11 Connects the suspect fired a shot inside the bank, but no one was injured. We're looking at all possibilities. Uh, I think the county had an armed robbery uh, last toward the end of the week last week. In, in anything like this, we compare notes. The suspect is described as 5'10 to 6 feet tall, medium build, wearing a dark colored shirt and dark colored pants. Fled in a newer black Chevrolet pickup truck. Anyone with information asked to contact authorities. Bristol, Virginia City Council unanimously chose Jim Steele as its new mayor. Steele succeeds Ed Harlow, who remains on the council but passes the title to the former vice mayor. Guy Odom, who begins his second four-year term, was selected vice mayor. Meanwhile, the Abingdon Town Council decided to keep Ed Morgan as mayor and Kathy Lowe as vice mayor. Several great Tennessee residents who don't want to be annexed by Johnson City have filed a lawsuit in U.S. District Court in Greenville. Attorney Alan Woodruff filed the suit regarding the recent annexation of the Suncrest Drive area of Gray and the city's pending annexation of the Bobby Hicks Highway area. The suit questions the constitutionality of the annexation. Woodruff has filed an emergency motion for a temporary restraining order to keep the city from going any further with the pending annexation. No court date has been set as to when that suit will be heard. Kingsport-based chemical company has completed its acquisition of another firm. The $4.8 billion purchase by Eastman Chemical Company of Solusia Incorporated supports Eastman's growth strategy to increase revenues and its profit margin by expanding the company's geographic reach. Eastman spokeswoman Tracy Broadwater said the acquisition is expected to contribute strong cash generation and a solid return on capital for Eastman. Road construction won't slow traffic across Tennessee over the July 4th holiday. The Tennessee Department of Transportation will suspend all construction-related lane closures beginning at noon today through 6 p.m. on Friday to provide maximum roadway capacity for holiday travelers. Mark Nagy with TDOT offers some tips on staying safe for the roadways. Give yourself extra time to get where you need to go. And more important than ever, just make sure that you're not a distracted driver. That means never texting and drive, never drinking and driving. And, of course, give yourself extra braking room as well for those cars that are in front of you. Meanwhile, Michelle Earle with the Virginia Department of Transportation says there are several tools to assist motorists during this upcoming holiday. Easy.travel tools will make holiday travel in Virginia more predictable this summer. Motorists can use 511 Virginia and the new Reach the Beach interstate sign to plan a route that avoids the most congestion. Well, according to AAA, more than 42 million Americans will travel 50 miles or more from home during the Independence Day holiday period. Single vehicle crash in Johnson City has left one person dead. It happened yesterday morning on Bristol Highway. The name of the victim hasn't been released at this time. According to witnesses, a Ford pickup truck lost control, went off the roadway and struck a ditch. The truck then went airborne, rolled and struck a utility pole. The driver died at the scene while the passenger was taken to an area hospital and is listed in critical condition. That crash remains under investigation. And local power companies asking people to voluntarily conserve electricity as the region continues to suffer from this heat wave. TVA, Greenville Light and Power, Johnson City Power Board, and Irwin Utilities asking their customers to reduce usage between 3 p.m. and 9 p.m. through today. I'm Dwayne Nelson. Have yourself a great Tuesday.